once again on another adventure. We're going down in the lower Pamlico Sound, a nice popular creek off of that down near the sound. We're looking for speckled trout and of course redfish. That's what the order of the day is this time of year. We'll see what happens. Come join us. Got a little something on here. First cast, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I think it's a little blue. Yeah, a little blue. First cast. See if we can get us a speckled trout. Fishing a paddle tail, Z-Man paddle tail out here this morning. What we're doing is working this edge. We've seen some bait, marked some bait on the depth finder. Hoping to pick up a redfish or a speckled trout. Got a little structure coming up. Hopefully there'll be something around that. How are you working I'm giving it a, I'm letting the paddle work, but I'm giving it a little bump, a little pump as I do it. What kind of water depth we got here? We got nine, nine. Nine feet, almost ten feet. Okay, fishing a popping cork out here, trying to get something to bite. We, it's kind of bad luck to get a fish on your very first cast, and that's what we did. But not that I'm superstitious, but uh, we're gonna see what happens. Even though it was a blue fish. Matthew's decided to try a little something different, which is a good idea. Popping cork is very effective on just about everything. Redfish, speckled trout. You pop it, naturally it imitates a fish feeding on the bait. Then there's a leader and a soft plastic below that that sinks down, it looks injured. That's what we're trying. That's what he's got going on right there. Beautiful, beautiful morning out here in Eastern North Carolina. I don't see much bait fish on the bottom there. It looks like there's a couple though. Yeah, we're still looking for a little bait. That's the main thing you're looking for when you come fishing. We marked a little bait coming in, but uh, so far we really hadn't seen anything out here. Pick up something soon, we'll make a move. We're in 9.5 foot of water still. Yeah, a little over nine feet of water, nine and a half.
expecting a lot of wind today. Northeast wind is a low front moving up the coast. It's going to get here, I don't know, probably Saturday morning. Expect some pretty strong northeast winds on the coast. Doesn't affect us too much where we're fishing, but it is going to blow a little bit today. So we got out here early trying to beat the beat the blow, so to speak. Okay, this is a dark and stormy three-inch minnow. It's a C.A. Richardson color. Just loaded it up with a little Procure Blue Crab flavor. I don't know that the flavor matters, but I'm a true believer in. the attractant on any fish bait that pro cure is one of the better ones okay i'm gonna make a move out here the wind's kind of picking up caught that one little blue when we first started like i said that can be a bad omen picking up mark or marking some bait if you look on the depth front of here there's a lot of bait here off on the side scan but uh nothing's working the bait we're going to go on the other side of this little development. Maybe get back out into the main creek. See if we can find some red fish. Hopefully pick up a little speckled trout, you never know. Now what do you think is your ideal condition for a fish? Well, what fish mainly need, they need two or three things. One, they need salinity in the water. That's important. They need cover in the form of a dock or rocks or a drop-off cover. It can be a lot of different things. And of course they need food. If they can get food, cover, and comfort in the water, right water temperature, you're going to find fish most of the time. You just got to find those elements where they where they kick in all at once. And hopefully the fish are hungry. Okay, we're trying a new spot. Got out of the wind. One good sign is there's an egret up here looking. That tells me there's a little bait up here. We're working this shore hoping to pick up a redfish in about, I don't know, three to four foot of water up to two foot of water. Good spot for redfish. I've caught them in here in years past and uh, haven't been here in a long time. But unfortunately, the wind's dictating to us where we need to go a little bit. And that's what we're doing. We're making the best of it. No problem. Okay, we're working this shoreline here. Mighty, mighty windy. Hoping to pick up a red. Seeing some cover. Some old blow down trees. Maybe one's up there. Makes casting a little challenge. We're getting wind knots. It's easier to fish into the wind than with it because it's blowing so hard you can kind of set your pace a little bit. Troll motor's having a little bit of trouble keeping up with it. Oh, it some good weight to it. We're going to catch them, buddy. We're going to catch them. Oh, Can't catch them. It's my old stomping grounds. I like it. Caught a lot of fish up here over the years. I'm just walking along the bank right here with this Missouri. What are you fishing with, Matthew? I'm fishing with a purple and green Missouri right here. Let me see it. Oh, yeah. Very good bait. Very to, good bait for speckled trout and redfish. Trying to work this bait it's right here with all this past structure right here. Maybe I can just work it in front of one of the faces and maybe I can bite on it, you know. <clears throat> yeah, they're a little got lock draw a little bit today, but something a little flashy like you've got on or paddle tail and Three foot eight of water. That's plenty of water. Plenty of water. Just want them to turn on and start seeing some baits blow up would be nice. Okay, we're changing it up. Still looking. Got a swivel head. This is a Alabama Leprechaun by Salt Strong. Get them on their website. And I'm gonna put fill it full of Procure right there. Took a little fingernail polish, put a little red on it just for a little attention. Hopefully that'll do the trick. 
We got back, started editing the video from the trip, and this is kind of new to us. We, uh, something malfunctioned with the camera. I don't know what it was. We lost, I don't know, maybe, maybe 30 or 45 minutes of the last part of the video. Of course, it was the best part of the video. What we ended up doing is we actually tied on that Alabama leprechaun and that little flash came on there and that kicked them in a little bit. Um, we found them around docks. We caught a couple of redfish. Fished pretty hard, but we still caught a couple of redfish. One of them halfway decent, about 20 inches. Found it around a dock where they had obviously dredged around that dock. There was a pretty good sized boat sitting up on the lift and I guess they brought someone in. It was maybe three or four foot deeper than the rest of the, uh, you know, the bottom around it. And we hooked up on a, a 20 inch decent little redfish on that one, gave us a good fight. And Matthew actually caught another fish. I think he was somewhere in the 18 to 20 range. We didn't measure it around a different dock. So we ended up having a pretty decent afternoon. The wind really was a lot worse than the video shows it. Uh, it was pretty brutal. You couldn't have cast. You couldn't cast where you wanted to. You had to anticipate where the wind was going to make your bait land. That's not a lot of fun. Uh, caught a lot of docks, believe it or not, instead of fish. Um, but it all worked out. It was a good fishing trip overall, and it was a day on the river. So you can't you can't beat that. Look, this is Billy for Real Time Fishing. We're going to sign off. If you like, hopefully you like this video. Like and subscribe. We'd love to hear your comments.